Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome. My name is Kenna. I'm a cosmetic chemist and a global beauty brand strategist. Today, we are going to pretend like I lost all of my skincare and I need to rebuild from scratch with a $100 USD budget. And we're gonna cover everything that I think that I need. These are products that I love and use all the time. And I would recommend to pretty much anybody so this is going to be affordable it's going to cover a wide range of skin concerns like hyperpigmentation acne signs of aging and we're also going to include you know those sandwich things that are staples like cleansers and sunscreen so without further ado let's just get right on into the video okay starting off with cleanser you guys know I have talked about this cleanser over and over and over again, but there's a reason for that. It is my absolute favorite. It is extremely effective at removing makeup and sunscreen. It is so, so gentle. It does not strip, but it cleanses very effectively. It's so gentle, you can actually leave it on your skin and it will not cause irritation. And this is the Tolerian Demo Cleanser from La Roche-Posay. It does retail for 35 Canadian, which ends up being like around 25 USD so very very affordable and that's for 400 ml which is quite a substantial amount it'll last you a very long time it also is very kind of multi-purpose so because it's so gentle you can use it you know to cleanse your underarms your intimate area it's a great shower moisturizer cleanser it just has so many uses again like I said it can remove even the most stubborn makeup I just absolutely love this cleanser if you've never used it I highly recommend just picking it up and trying it it's a little bit different because it doesn't give you that like soapy sudsy feel it does not create any foam on the skin which I actually really like as someone that does have really sensitive skin and I really don't like when I feel a residue of a cleanser on my skin either so it kind of has the best of both worlds between like your gel cleanser or your oil cleanser it kind of sits in between both the surfactant system in there is just a lot of emollients and they are very effective at breaking down the dirt oil and makeup but not stripping the skin and it does not leave a residue. So when you, you know, pat dry, you don't feel anything on your skin like you can with like an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser. So that's why I really like this one. So we're already up to around 25 USD. By the way, my budget is in USD. <laughs> so just for reference, that's, um, but all my prices that I have are Canadian because that's just how my browser is, right? So I'll tell you guys both. But anyways, you can get this at a lot of drugstores. You can get it online. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. So Tolerian Dermo Cleanser, just try it, you guys. And if you do try it, let me know your thoughts because I feel like it's a really underrated one, um, but it's my favorite and has been my favorite for years. So can't live without that one. Next is an azelaic acid serum. Now, I don't really care where you get your azelaic acid serum. For me personally, I have formulated an azelaic acid serum for Addition Skin, which is a pregnancy-focused skincare line. Um, it does contain 10% azelaic acid, but that one would be out of my budget. So I would opt for, in this case, the Inky List azelaic acid 10%. It is just a very kind of simple, effective delivery system for azelaic acid. Now, the purpose of azelaic acid is it is really good at keeping mild and moderate acne at bay. It has a gentle exfoliating property to it, um, but it's also a really great tyrosinase inhibitor for hyperpigmentation. So it is the number one ingredient that has helped with my hyperpigmentation over the years. And I would say one of the ones that I actually noticed the biggest difference from, you know, we have our alpha arbutin, our kojic acids, and all these other tranexamic acids and things, but when I notice real results with my redness, like post-inflammatory erythema and uh, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or just hyperpigmentation in general, um, I do get some melasma on my cheeks and stuff. The only ingredient that seems to really work is azelaic acid. I also find with regular use, like I said, my skin is less red. I just have a skin type that's very prone to redness. And so I've noticed that it is significantly less red when I'm consistently using azelaic acid. And I also find that I don't get as congested. And really, I only get congested now during menstruation, pre-PMS kind of stuff. But I don't really find that I get that when I'm using azelaic acid consistently. 
And this is something that it is known for. Um, it is a great ingredient if you're pregnant or not. And it's also a great ingredient if you do not react well to things like retinoids, to salicylic acid, to benzoyl peroxide, or anything that can be a little bit more harsh on the skin. Or maybe you just haven't had your desired results with as well. So as like I said, Ride or die, absolutely, that one's got to come with me. So the Azelaic Acid retails for 24 Canadian, which is roughly 1750 USD. Next, one more serum that I do think is worth including in this, and that is some type of retinoid. Again, retinoids, they do speed up the skin's cell turnover, really great for boosting collagen in the skin, thickening the skin around the eyes. They can help with things like evening out texture on the skin and it, they do have an impact on hyperpigmentation. So it's just an all around ingredient that I always use in my routine. Now in my normal non losing all my skincare life, I do switch between a lot of different types of retinoids. So that could be an encapsulated retinol, that could be retinaldehyde, that could be um, retinol esters. And I just like that kind of variety because they all have different kind of strengths and sensitivities and all of that stuff. But one product that I reach for time and time again is the Ordinary 0.2% re retinaldehyde suspension or emulsion, I think it's called. This retails for 2270 Canadian, which is roughly 1660 USD. So this is a very, very good strength of retinaldehyde at a very affordable price point. And honestly, it is very effective. So this is one that I would pick up for one, the quality of the ingredient. Retinaldehyde is a little bit higher in strength than retinol, but I also find it less irritating on my skin than typical retinols, unless it's like an encapsulated retinol. I find those quite gentle, but retinaldehyde always really kind of sits with my skin really well. So that is another one that I would definitely include in my routine. And for the price point, just you can't beat it. It's really, really good. There's so many options for moisturizers on the market. So this is one that maybe I would play with or change out or whatever it is. But there is a moisturizer that I've used for years that just suits a lot of different uses and purposes. And that's the V Green 730 Moisturizing Cream. Um, this is not, I don't know if this is a really popular one, but it's one that is just, it's so gentle it doesn't have any actives it's a very simple formula if my skin is freaking out it suits it if i have a lot of actives that i've layered it suits it um you know it sits well under sunscreen under makeup it's also really nice as like a night mask if you do a nice thick layer so again a, mo a moisturizer for me is something that should be fairly inert unless it's like a targeted moisturizer but in this case if i'm just trying to round out my routine to have um, you know, an option for a moisturizer that's going to suit day and night, actives, no actives. This is the one that I would definitely go for. Like ingredient wise, it's so, so basic. It has water, caprylic capric triglycerides, glycerin, squalane, and then it's got some emulsifiers, arginine at a very small percentage, and that's it. Like it's so, so simple. Sometimes less is more. In this case, I would definitely opt for something where, you know, less is more. And it's just a really, really nice one. So if you haven't tried that one out, I do recommend it. I think that it suits all skin types, all skin conditions. Um, you know, if you do have a lot of sensitivities or allergies, this one's great because it just has just so little ingredients. Like you probably won't react to this. I mean, somebody could, but you know, essentially it, we're not dealing with any fragrances or um, botanical extracts that you don't know that you have an allergy to or things like niacinamide that some people are sensitive to. So just a really good basic one that I think everybody could love. I don't know if you can get it like locally in North America, but this is one that I just get from like Stylevana and it's reasonably priced. It is $33.60 Canadian, which ends up being around $24.50 USD. So again, very reasonable price point. And the tube lasts forever. Like you, a little goes a long way with this type of moisturizer. So 
that would last you a very long time. And then the last one, of course, we cannot forget our sunscreen. So sunscreen, there's one sunscreen that I go back to time and time again. Every time I'm placing like a Yes Style or a Style Vana order, I get like five of them. And that's the Skin 1004 Hyalu, Hyalu Psycho. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Madagascar Centella Hyalu Psycho Water Fit Sun Serum. This is SPF 50 plus 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 plus, and it's 1270 Canadian. I think regular price is like 20 Canadian, but right now it's 33% off. And Stylevana, yes, Style, they always have sales going on. They always have like bundling deals. So this can be, you know, anywhere from like $10 to $15 Canadian, which again at that 1270 price point is like under $10 USD. So for a sunscreen that is of this quality, this nice finish, it literally feels like nothing on your skin. As someone that is extremely dry, I can get away with just using that, skipping a moisturizer in the morning. During the winter months, I definitely would wanna layer a moisturizer with the sunscreen, but it just feels like nothing. I think if you have an oily skin type, dry skin type, sensitive skin type, it goes on the skin and it just is there you know beautiful under makeup what more can you ask so our grand total of everything does come out to 128 dollars canadian roughly 93 dollars us and that's like everything you need and these are all top 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 quality products these are all top 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 quality ingredients this is suited for sensitive skin for reactive skin for normal skin types for hyperpigmentation for aging for acne, for what else could it be? Honestly, this this routine would suit everyone, I think. So if you're on a budget, if you have $100 to spend on every single category of skincare that you could possibly need, this is what I would do. And this is how I would spend my money. And I can tell you that I spend my own personal money on all of these products regularly. These are products that I have bought again and again and again and again and will continue to buy they're not things that I look for in PR. They're not things that I ask for for free. These are products where I'm like worth it every single time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do try any of the products out, I would love to get your feedback. If you try out the whole range of this, that would be really cool. Um, I'll try and link everything down below. But again, based on where you are in the world, a quick Google search, you'll be able to find all of these products, but I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these types of videos, you know, on a budget, on, on specific, you know, skin concerns, but I think this covers like a really good range of everything that you could need with a reasonable budget for spending across all categories. Anyways, that's it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, then definitely give me a follow and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.